who was the friend in there after Natalie told me that she teaches multimedia because at first it was just playing a picture. And we decided we gotta we gotta beef the whole thing up a little bit. Um, let me let me start off by talking a little bit about why we started this Live Your Dream program, um, which Natalie is our first winner for 2012. Um, I don't know how much everybody knows about the aviation industry, but it's been in better shape than it is now. All the, all the companies that work in aviation have seen much, much better days. Especially after 9-11, things started to go um, pretty much in the wrong direction for everybody. So um, all the companies have been somewhat struggling, and that includes also us. And we wanted to really make an impact and analyze what is it that can be done to turn aviation around. And one of, the, one of the big factors that we came up with was we got to strengthen the community. Aviation's got to start at the root. The Live Your Dream program is about that. It's about living dreams and making dreams possible. Just for those of you that are not familiar with it, the idea is to basically share with us why somebody had a passion for aviation. When we saw this video, we didn't really have to leave the thing for very long because it was very, very clear, and I think you probably agree with me, that Natalie managed to demonstrate her passion for aviation, the effort that went into making this video, but just the way she comes across on, 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 on this video and the way she talks about what she's doing, convinced us immediately. And uh, we knew that we had our first winner for 2012. And um, I would really, really like to congratulate Natalie on this. And um, we have an award for you, Natalie, that I would like to present to you. That's this one right here. It's our Live Your Dream Flight Training Mentorship Competition. And I'm very proud to be able to award that to you today. Thank you. We're not done yet. This is just the first part. <laughs> we have more. We have our, our Live Your Dream Ambassadors. My good buddy Dave Monroe um, is, I'll let him do the introduction, but I gotta say a little bit because I know he's gonna play it off really low and I, I gotta make sure I introduce him correctly. <laughs> Dave has 20, 27,000 hours uh, in the airplane. Uh, he's a 767 captain for American Airlines. Uh, International is um, an aerobatics pilot. Flies for Team Aerostar as the right wing. Um, former uh, national, uh, second runner-up national aerobatic champion in his pits. So whenever I think aviation, whenever I think aviation role model, it's the type of person that, I'm, that, I, that I envision. And Dave's here to uh, sort of tell us a little bit about how he got to where he is, how his aviation career started, and you're more than welcome to bug him with any type of questions that you may have about aviation. Oh, he's, easy. he's definitely the right guy to answer this question. Take it away. Well, thank you. It's, it's a real pleasure to be here today. And man, I can't tell you how much uh, uh, I'm excited about your uh, progression in aviation. It's fabulous. Well, I'm here to tell you I'm living my dream every single day as a professional pilot. I started at uh, a very, very young age at uh, 16 when I sold and I worked, you know, progressed through uh, all my ratings and licenses on up the, up the ranks. But I initially started that, had the, the, the bug was set uh, back when my, uh, with my parents, my dad was a captain from Northwest, he was a military pilot, and my mom was a flight attendant, my uh, grandfather was a, a mechanic for American Airlines at the time. And, um, but you weren't influenced to get into aviation at all, And so I always wanted to fly, I always wanted to fly. And then uh, at age 14, I lost my father in, uh, in the Navy. He was a uh, reservist in the Navy flying, and uh, he was in a, an accident. And I lost my father, so uh, the, the bug was still always there, but I kind of had to set out on my own journey. And that journey was that I was going to have to find my way to become a professional pilot. Everyone, for coming, I'd like to thank our airport. I'd like to thank Steinweiser for making this possible. The reason I entered it, I didn't have a headset. Mine kind of died, and poor Mike, I've been borrowing his for about a year now. So now I have Miami, but thank you everybody for coming, I greatly appreciate it. And there's a lot of easy here. <laughs>